In this video, we're going to talk about how to export your GarageBand project into an audio file that you can listen to in iTunes and iPod or almost any other audio player or audio playing software. To do this, right now this is just the project. To export it as an actual audio file, we click Share and then Export Song to Disk. This throws some students off because they expect to have to uh, export it to a flash drive or other disk, but this is just Apple's way of saying save the song uh, into an MP3 or other audio file. So we click Export Song to Disk, and typically by default it comes up as AAC Encoder Medium Quality. For this assignment we're going to change this to MP3 Encoder, and we want it to be a high or higher quality. Now we click Export. At this point it comes up and asks where you'd like to save it. Now because we're going to be saving this onto flash drives and into courses folders, uh, into the courses folder, uh, we want to just export this to the desktop for right now. It does take a few seconds. The larger the file, the longer it takes to export. So this is typical. And one of the reasons I show it in this video is so that you understand that this is part of the process. As you can see, there's a few steps to this as it runs through, makes several passes. This is probably our last pass here. All right, now it has been exported, and the way to know that it's finished is up in the, well, probably on the upper right corner, but it could be somewhere else on your screen. You will now see your actual file, and this is the audio file that we can listen to. And this other file is the file we started with at the very beginning. If you go back and watch the first video on how to set up a GarageBand project, uh, you'll see that we set that to save on the desktop as well. In the next video, we'll talk about how to save these projects to the courses folder.